Hello, friend. Hello, friend. That's lame. Maybe I should give you a name. Can you explain hacks like an elevator pitch to us? Sure. A new thing, better than Bitcoin, that its launch is over in 90 days when a giant payout of a large chunk of the supply is paid to the stakers who buy it and lock it up. percent of people claim their BTC, then it multiplies the the stuff by 1.5. If 50% of the addresses possible claim their BTC, it ups it by 1.5. So if so basically whatever the number of unclaimed coins is, and it's likely to be very high, because I think only about nine million Bitcoin could actually claim because of the silly whale penalties and the gox me not and we are and the multi-sig can't claim, all that stuff adds up to about nine, only nine million coins could actually possibly claim, and then because we're already about nine million hex. Well, nine be nine nine million BTC times ten thousand hex per BTC. Okay. So I think it's ninety uh, ninety billion. I think it's ninety okay. billion. So, or, you said nine nine B, nine thousand BTC. Uh, nine, there's nine million BTC that could possibly claim. But now it's far uh -huh. less because 10% 10, 10 of the claim phase is already over. So we're already, you said 10,000 hex per? So yeah, 10,000 hex per BTC. So that would be 9 million. Well, 9 million times 1,000 would be 9 billion, and it's 10,000, yes. so it's 90 billion. So okay. there's, there's Sorry, 90 billion hex, sure. There's 90 yeah. billion hex that uh, are going to be distributed no matter what because they can't even attempt to claim them. And then there's people that could attempt, but really can't. So, so for instance, the pay to script hash addresses, some of the, we don't know what the reparation type is. So if they end up being a SegWit reparation type, then they can claim. But if there's some other weird type of reparation type that's not SegWit, then they can't claim. And nobody in the world knows, except for the person holding the private keys, what the claim script actually is until it gets used. And so, there's going to be a lot of coins, a lot, uh, redistributed at the end, at the big payday. Times of uh, adoption bonuses, which are critical mass and virality, and they get distributed by shares. And if you get in earlier, you get more shares per stake tax. If you get in later, you get less shares per stake tax. And that's it. So that's kind of the the big payoff in HEX that's going to be the, the largest single day of input probably in the history of the currency. So that on that day, on day 353, uh, which now I guess is only what, let me take a look. Let's see how far away that is. <clears throat> so today we're on day 38 of 351 days, which leaves us like 317 days, I guess, something like that. I don't know, what's 351 minus 38? 313. So there's 313 days left. And then a day or two after that, the uh, the big payday hits and gets credited to all the stakers. And those that are staked longer, so people have this misunderstanding that like, okay, everyone's going to dump on that day. Well, maybe, maybe not. I can tell you who can't or who's very unlikely to because of early unstake penalties being very, very harsh. Um, the people that claimed the day before the last day, they're auto staked for 350 days. So they, they can't dump literally. They can't even emergency end stake. If you, if you free claim, you can't emergency end stake until 350 days has passed. So if they, the guy that claims like the day before the last day, he's in for 350 days. He can't, he can't dump. He could dump 10% because it's 90% on a stake. Um, the AA guys can dump whenever they want, but they're telling you when they're likely to dump because they're staking for so much. I think like 85 to 90% of the currency is staked. And you could look at what dates those are staked into the future and tell when people could dump without being annihilated by penalties. Um, yeah, so... Everyone, for some reason, they don't understand that if you have a year of claim phase and, and you're worried about people dumping those coins, then you have a year of dump phase. 
because it's the same shape, it's the same size. Year of claims, year of dump. And that's assuming they will, you know. Not, people mm -hmm. choose to, to stake longer than the minimum. You know, a lot of, since logger pays better, you see the average stake length was 300 and something and the median was 1,000 or, or vice versa. It was like 500 and 1,000. So yeah. you know, people just miss I, The point I want to make is that everyone looks at that big, that big payday as, you know, the time when everyone's going to dump. And you're like, well, maybe a lot of people will, maybe not, but it's not because of the reasons you think. If there's a year of claim, there's a year of dump. And so from that. The invention of cryptocurrencies brought us alternatives to the traditional financial system. HEX is the next step in that evolution, designed to replace high-interest time deposit savings accounts. Stake your HEX coins for a fixed time period, and once your stake expires, HEX pays you the interest you're owed. The longer lockdown period you choose, the higher interest rate you receive. HEX is a smart contract built on top of the Ethereum network providing you trustless, decentralized interest without any banking fees or middlemen. Bitcoin miners generate about 650,000 coins a year in total. They have to sell most of it to cover their high electricity costs, forcing down the price of Bitcoin on the market. Rather than paying miners, Hex pays the stakers instead, who have no mining costs pushing down the price of Hex. And the more people stake their coins, the less will be available on the market for buyers which in turn increases the price of HEX. However, if less people stake, then the contract automatically increases the amount of interest earned by the remaining stakers. This balance ensures that it's always beneficial to be a staker. HEX is free for Bitcoin holders. If you held Bitcoin during the snapshot on the 2nd of December 2019, then you can free claim your HEX during the launch phase, which lasts for a year. During this period, you can also transform Ethereum into HEX. And of course, you can already buy HEX on a growing number of exchanges. If you are a Bitcoin holder, why not hold your investment in an asset that actually rewards you for holding?